Look what I got for Christmas. It's a new mini dash waffle maker, or as everyone calls them, chaffles. Let's get this open. Hello, foodie. I just love the color of it. Look how cute. I have four different recipes I want to try today. I found this in the box. Classic waffles, pizza chocolate, paleo waffles, banana bread waffles. Oh, look at the picture. Feel free to stop the video and write down the recipes or take screenshots. I'm going to create an entire series or playlist of recipes to use in your waffle maker. Mini waffle maker that is. Let's make some chaffles. I am not going to make a waffle today. I am going to use this shredded Mexican cheese and pepperonis and ham, some cooked sausage and black olives. And I'm going to make some low carb treats or snacks. I'm going to make four different recipes. I washed the inside of the little dash and now I'm ready to go. I am going to spray it with some nonstick spray and um, use whatever you want. I just happen to have this in my cabinet. I also have some avocado spray, so I might experiment with that too. I diced up the ham so it is ready to go. Basically everything is ready to go. Let's get started. I plugged it in and I'm waiting for it to heat up a little bit. I'm going to start with cheese and put the shredded cheese. I can see this is going to be a little bit messy. I'm not sure how much to put on. I'm just going to cover the surface. And then I'm going to put the ham in there. Oh, I think I might be putting too much in. We'll see. This is my first time using my dash, so this will be a learning experience for me. OK, 
Okay, um, so this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. It says to use either a wooden tool or a nylon, but never use metal. I'm gonna plug it back in. And I'm gonna try to make another one. Thought I used too much cheese, but I don't think it was enough. That was the first recipe, ham and cheese. Now on to recipe number two. Next up is the sausage, which I cooked into like sausage pennies, but I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces to put in with the cheese on, the, on my mini dash here. Okay, I'm gonna plug the waffle maker back in. I'm gonna put a little bit of on there. Putting on the sausage. I couldn't wait for that to cook. I already took a bite out of this one. It was so good. My husband also tried it and he really liked it too. He wants me to make more of them. But I just made the sausage one, so now we have two. I'm gonna make another sausage one. Look at all that steam. And the next recipe that's gonna come up it's going to be pepperoni and cheese. Let's take a sneak peek. Ooh. Looking good, looking done. I'm going to unplug it. I'm not sure if you have to do that or not, but I am. And let's get this going around. I think that was my best one yet. I'm definitely not a professional chef. As you see, I'm struggling a bit. Let's see how we're doing with the cheese and pepperoni. Oh, looking good. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. I am so impatient. I just wanna get them out of there. Oh yeah, that looks good. Again, I'm unplugging it.
is not the best presentation, but they are yummy. Okay, let's get this last one of the pepperoni and cheese out. Working my way around the edges. One more time with the spray. And then this one is going to be all the meats and the black olives. There is just so many recipes. Be so creative with this. I think I'm going to be using this little dash a lot. Pepperonis, ham, sausage, and black olives. It kind of looks like a pizza. Quickly rinse my hands. Let's get some cheese in there. There is just so much versatility with this little mini dash. I can't wait to keep using it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.